I do hope you're doing well. We're in PJs again. I must add though, these are a bit mismatch. I haven't really coordinated myself well today. We've got a Harry Potter top and we've got mini mask bottoms. You know, it's just been one of them weeks and I just... I don't know what the excuse is, I just haven't matched, I just don't feel put together, but hey ho, and please excuse the ginormous leaning tower of peas on me here, you know one of them days when it's just like, meh, I want me hair out of the way, and we all know what it means, that means it is another monthly favourites, my god, these months are flying by so quick, like how are we almost at the end of March, how are we still not out of lockdown yet, almost there? Almost there, almost there. But yes, we have all of our categories as normal. You know, I've got me list because I have to make sure I rabbit on about enough bits and bobs, you know. But yes, let's get into the video. I'm going to do a little pan over so you can see just what we've got on offer today. And yeah, get comfy, get cosy. It's going to be a long one, isn't it? We're going to have a ramble as we go along. But hey ho, that's me. So yes, it is our March monthly favourites. And let's just get on in with it. <laughs> there we've got quite a selection we've still got all our little categories of bits and bobs but we've got a lot of new favorites or oh no one of my little fellas fell down but we've got a few more decor bits we've got a few old favorites we've got some classics there's always going to be food in there let's be honest but let's stop rabbit in and what should we start with today Let's just start it with food and drink like we always do. So I'm just keeping an eye because you know I do have a tendency to rab it. I need to just stick to the list. So, foodie bits that I've been loving this month. You know we're coming up to Easter and all that. And these little beauties are in Tesco for a pound. And I think I've probably gone through about three packets already. Because you always know with supermarkets like... 1st of March, bam, you've got Mother's Day and Easter bits all together. So Easter for me is in April. Easter is probably March and April, let's be perfectly honest. I do know about you, I love some Kit Kats. These are the Easter break Kit Kat, but they're the little bunnies. So you get six per bag. And I'm not going to lie, I can eat a whole bag in one day. I'll have like a couple when I'm at work, maybe one when I'm driving home from work, because yes, I do have a bag in my car. And then I just snack on the rest when I'm watching my Netflix. So, highly addictive. Definitely not great for the waistline because April we are trying to, you know, get in shape. But I think April, I say like the 1st of April I'm going to have my health kit. But then I'm thinking, do I just get Easter out of the way and then start? Because I'm just going to have too much temptation. So, I think it might be like the second week of April after Easter Sunday. That Monday, what date's that? I have no idea. Fifth? Is it the fifth? Easter Monday? Easter Monday, I think, will be when the diet starts because I can't be begrudging myself on Easter Sunday. Like, you girls having the whole lamb shoulder, make sure you check out the Easter vlog when it's up. That will be coming up two weeks from now. Gonna have a four day weekend vlog, food, chocolate, just everything really. So, on that note as well of snacks. Your girl's been loving her share bags again. I think now, because I know it's getting so close to healthy eating again, and like I really need to get my tush into gear, I'm kind of overindulging. But I'm not mad at it. Well, I am, because I'm probably putting on a lot more extra pans than I need to when I'm already going to struggle as it is. But hey-ho, I have been loving these. These are like repurchases. I've probably gone through about three bags of these. And I think this is my second of these. When they're down to a pound, it's just, I mean, it's rude. You can't not. So the first one we have are the Sensations Poppadoms, Lime and Coriander. These are actually insane. Like this week, we've done our weekly food challenge filming bit that I've done. So you'll probably see that in the next week or so. Because I say, those videos take me forever to edit. And I've done a nice homemade curry in it. So I wanted loads of poppadoms. And we didn't use these on the curry. But I took them the next day to work for a snack and... Yeah, they kind of went the whole day at work. 
But hey ho, we're not judging here. As you know, a share bag is not a share bag, it's a Shannon bag. And I don't share my snacks really. And then these, oh my god, these are such an old school favourite. These I haven't seen in absolute ages. And it weren't until I went down to Tesco and they had them in the beef and the pickled onion. You know your girl got both and she ate both straight away. But I tend to go more for the roast beef because I have to be in the mood for a pickled onion, you know. I'm not really, if you know me, like anything pickly or, yeah, it's not really me. So the only thing I eat are the pickled onion monster munch. And I don't know about you, how do you eat your monster munch? Do you shove it all in or... I think, well, I've been told I'm weird quite a bit because, you know, like, the claw. So, I eat that half first and then I munch each of, like, the little paws on it. That might just be me. I might be an absolute weirdo, but hey-ho. That's me. On a slightly different note, because we are trying to be healthy, you know, and with all, like, the sauces and that and the cooking, I still need to eat good food because when... I'm on health kit. If it's just plain veg, plain salad, I get bored and I fall off the wagon. So I need to have stuff where it's still healthy, but I can like feel like I'm having a bit of naughtiness. So I really want to start having my breaded sea bass fillets again. I think they're from Bird's Eye, the gastro ones. You get like tempura ones or sea salt and lemon. Oh my god, those are jacket potato and some maybe like just a few onion rings, you know. But with onion rings and everything, I like my sauce. And you know me and Mama G, we love anything with garlic. So I saw Skinny Food Co. They kept popping up on my Instagram. And they had a little bit of a sale on. I think it was like up to 30% off. So I thought, let's have a butcher's and see what we've got. So kind of picked up quite a bit. I'm not going to lie. I've um, got some seasoning. I didn't know seasoning had calories. But hey-ho, we've got some seasoning. I got some cocktail pre-mixes so i got porn star martini six on the beach and pina colada so you can either drink them as they are in the bottle and have them as a mocktail but you know your girl's gonna add the booze so i thought that'd be quite good for summer coming up and then i picked up a sauce and of course it is the garlic and herb sauce oh my god love it absolutely love it and you cannot tell the difference at all like mm -mm. me and mum we've probably like well, I keep tipping it upside down so it looks like a full bottle because I'm trying to not go through it so quick. But to be honest, there's only probably about half left. But me and mum just absolutely love it. It's so good. You don't taste the difference. And apparently... Oh, I feel I've got something stuck on my lip. Apparently it's got no calories. Oh, it's one calorie per 10 mil serving. I don't know what 10 mil serving is because I still like... <sighs> squeeze however much I want. So yes highly recommend that and if you've seen the mother's day vlog you will know i've kind of i don't normally have dairy but when i do i found a new love so you would have seen in the mother's day vlog i picked up this milk purely because it had a cow on it and i've been hooked ever since i keep saying i'm gonna buy it to do rice pudding and then before you know it i've drunk the bottle and i still haven't done the rice pudding if you know what I'm talking about, my lovelies, leave it down below. But this is £1.15 for a litre. And it is Tesco Finest Channel Island Whole Milk. And it's whole milk with a creamy top from Purebred Jersey and Guernsey Cows. Now, I'm not going to lie, I only got it because of that fella on there. This is a full bottle. This is a repurchase. I am... <laughs> I'm hoping I'm going to do rice pudding this weekend. But... If not, this is perfect. You know, like, because we've got the coffee machine, get a really big, big glass or a tall glass, do your coffee as normal, and then add a few little drops of this in. Oh, my God, the creaminess it gives. I can't, I can't say anything. I do feel like a little bit extra when I go and buy it. Like, you have the normal milk, and then I think, no, I want my finest milk today. And people do look at you sometimes, like, why are you buying that? I'm like, it's got a cow on it. And it's very nice. It is very calorific though. I'm not going to lie. I don't think... Does it have it? Oh, it's not too bad. It's 79 calories per 100 ml. But I'm not going to lie. Like, if I have a big glass of this, almost half the bottle's gone. So that could be like almost 400 calories just on milk. But hey-ho, I don't have it every week. It's just, you know, when your girl wants a fancy. And that... We've got off to a good start. That's all the food and drink done, my lovelies. Right, the next bit we're going to do are like bits and bobs. You know, like a few handbags, some perfumes, just all that jazz that I'm loving. The first thing, however, 
is kind of like my go-to accessory at the moment. You will not see me anywhere without this. Whether I'm at work, I'm on my walks, whatever, this is always with me. And I picked this up in Tesco, I think just before Christmas, because it was about eight quid. You go wait until it went to 50% off. And it is just simply a water bottle with my initial one. So it's this dark graphite grey with a rose gold S on. It's a little bit better because as I say, I've been using it non-stop lately. This, I think, holds, how much do you hold? 500 ml. So I try to have at least two of these a day just to start me off because even at the minute, I'm having two and I'm practically living on the toilet for the amount of wee wees I need to do. But I think it's ideally you have to have like two litres of four of these. That's a big step at the moment. So I have one plain water and then I always do one in the morning. My first lot is with a bit of lemon juice. Kind of like, I think it wakes you up and detoxes your body and all that and it gives it a bit of flavour. This is one of those in insulated ones. Is that it? It's a stainless steel one. Stainless steel insulated bottle. So it keeps it cold, which is fabulous because some days if I'm at work and then I leave my bottle in the car and then I go into work and I'm like, oh, my water bottle when it's been, say, a few hours, I think, oh, I ain't got that risk of it's going to be, like, lukewarm. It stays freezing in this. So I would highly recommend. I think you can pick, like, not this style maybe, but on Amazon, just insulated water bottles. And I think because it's got my initial, I'm banging it a lot. I do apologise for the noise. Um, I think because it's got my initial on, it just makes me more, like, prone to want to drink it. I don't know. It's the little things that, like, have to stimulate my brain to think, you need to get that H2O in your body, Shan, because hydration is key. Da da da! What are we gonna do? Right. I've kind of fallen back in love with my backpacks. I don't know what it is. I think the idea at the minute of carrying a bag, I'm just like, meh. Meh. Can't be bothered. I'm like, I just want my stuff, but I don't really want to carry it. So I've dug out this old beauty. Now this, where on earth did I get this from? Topshop, many, many moons ago. I think I've had this maybe, I'm gonna say two or three years. I have a red like drawstring bucket bag from Michael Kors and that was kind of the start of it because it had like the long strap and I always wanted a backpack version but Michael Kors backpacks were not cheap. They're very not cheap. I think this was about £30 if I remember correctly. So I loved it because it's got this gold little embossed e out. But then it's almost like, I don't know if it's going to pick up. There's like baby hearts inside all of these ridges. So I really liked that. And then as I say, you can hold it as normal. Adjustable straps, which is key because I've only got like a little body. So I don't want it to be like, you know, when it's like near your bottom. I don't like that. I like it like nice and high. Well, in the middle. But to be honest, I'm one of them persons. I just one strap it half the time because I just think it's so convenient. And then I can just faff around, get me bits out, and I ain't got to worry about like, okay, putting everything in my pockets again, getting it all out. It's a very spacious inside. It's just a plain black interior. I'm not sure if you're going to see much. It's just a standard bag. You've got your little pocket with a zip for like your cards or whatever. But as I say, you can fit a lot in this. I can get my camera, my hard drive, the charger and headphones all in this. And you know what? I just absolutely love it. And I think coming into the spring, summer months, you just want stuff to like put in. And I don't know about you. Some days I'm in the mood to have like the handbag on my arm, but lately I'm not. And sometimes I don't even go out with a handbag. If it's just like my card, my phone and my keys, I just try and put it in my pockets. But I have, as I say, fallen back in love with my little backpack. And also, a main thing that is always in the backpack, you're going to guess it, ain't ya? I have kind of been... Oh no, I've just knocked poor Mr Rabbit over. I do apologise. Um... I've kind of got addicted, so I go to Tesco now nearly every morning before I start my shift. You know, just to have a look, I think, oh, I'll pick myself up some fruit for the morning. It never just stops at £2 fruit. Like, I have been very sidetracked by Easter decorations, which you're going to see a few in a moment. I get sidetracked by the book. So I've been having to look. I haven't really had to look, but you know what? I've just done a few detours. And by the checkouts, they have all the anti bags. You know your girl's a sucker for an anti-bag. And when I saw these for a pound, I thought, oh, 
they're a good size they're like 100 ml perfect so they are the act and care brand and now these are absolutely great because you know me candy cane peppermint all of that jazz that is so me it's not chemically at all like you know sometimes i smell them and i'm like whoo no this is pure peppermint like tea tree and oh my god i'm not gonna lie i have bought quite a lot of these i have two in my car i've got two here i have two in my handbag and i have about four or six in my backup supply because basically every day i went there last week i picked two out because i thought oh my god they're on a bargain and then mum said you do realize you've bought like 10 or 12 hand sanitizers hey ho don't moan at me they're 100 mil so i'm thinking they're perfect for traveling as well because i'm still got to keep in my mind for travel because if i lose that hoe i think i will go insane because it is starting to really get me down at the moment this whole thing with travel it seemed hunky-dory and now it's not and i just think you know what for my mental sanity and my well-being i need to still think that i'm going away in october and then if i don't i deal with it then but for the moment i can't be having those thoughts yet because i think i will literally lose the plot so perfect for traveling in my hand luggage on that plane <laughs> and then an old school perfume i've come back to love now does anyone remember this this is called wings by Lucy Meckleberg, you know the lady off of Towie. And you know what? I've just fallen back in love with this. You know me, every month I have like a little um, change around on my canter and I change over my perfumes and that. I just love this. It's a nice fresh smell, bit florally, little bit citrusy and there's not much left of it to be perfectly honest. It's probably gonna go to Mama G after this month because as you all know, any like odds and bobs that I get, and I don't want to finish off or like I'm getting a new bit out. I give them to Mama G. So she'll probably have the remnants of this. But yes. Don't know if you can still buy this. Like I'm not going to lie. I've had this quite a few years. But it still smells great. And it is an old classic. Ah. That's what. Where is it? I've just looked on my list. And I'm like oh my god I haven't showed that. So your girl changed her phone case. I'm getting good at changing these every month. Who would have thought. As I say every month if you see the same one as last month tell me in the comments and shout at me but i have been changing it and i may have changed it to match something so you would have seen this what i got for christmas it's just a gemini phone case and it says that us gemini's are gentle affectionate curious and adaptable i think that's a pretty good sum up to be perfectly honest of me so it's just this gemini phone case lovely baby blue color and as you can see i may have matched my nails to it i don't know if i'm gonna make that a monthly thing because i don't know if i've got the nail colors to match this but hey ho i just thought it's a nice spring color and when i saw me nail color i thought hey ho we're gonna go with it so that matches and i do have another thing that you're probably seeing in the background i think the video would have gone up has the video gone up yes it's the video before this but we're gonna leave that till the end and let's go on with the next one so homeware as you all know my candle collection is going down so i may or may not have treated myself to one this month <laughs> what happened there oh my goodness right let's just pop you back there and let's get back to the candle so i haven't burnt this yet but it is a favorite because nearly every day i take off the lid and have a good whiff of it because it is just oh my god and if you know me you know what scent it's going to be because i featured quite a few bits of this scent throughout the month and the halls picked up a watermelon candle didn't i look i got the yankee watermelon slice this was on offer in my tesco from i think it was was it 14 down to a tenner because obviously they're getting all the new scents in and that and i just loved it i was like oh my god i need it i did get one around about valentine's day i think it was a watermelon splash it was called it was only a little one to try and then i saw this and i was like oh your girl is getting that and i don't know if it is actually from the valentine's range or what because it's got like a little heart ribbon around the top I'm just thinking like that's to show your love for watermelon, which I'm not mad at because I do have a love for watermelon, as you all know. Oh. Do you, this is, I need help on this. People say to smell the lid, not the candle. 
what is the right thing do you know because they smell the same to me but i know some people say sniff the lid some people say sniff the candle i don't know but yes you know your girl loves a candle and hopefully fingers crossed touch wood all of that jazz the shops will open on the 12th because if they do your girl has planned a little long weekend i'm taking the friday and a monday off work and me and mama g we're gonna go shopping we're gonna i just need bargains i just need to go and feel like i'm getting a good deal and spend some money to be perfectly honest we're gonna hit ashford of course because yankee and woodwick are there and your girl needs a major stock up so we're gonna hit that it's gonna be a few other places we're gonna hit so you'll probably see that because that is gonna be a long vlog that's gonna be like another four day weekend vlog so you'll probably see that end of april first week of may i'm not too sure yet because i say we're gonna go i think it's the 16th to the 19th i'm gonna need a bit of time to edit it so probably end of april early may you'll see that vlog and you know there's probably gonna be a haul of the bits and bobs i got because i am planning to treat myself i'm not gonna lie i know i've done this spending and saving and i have done all right saving i have done all right spending a little bit too but i just want to treat myself and that's gonna be like my last splurge before my birthday and then i think right 26 that's like proper adult that's like wrong side of 20s for me nearing the 30s oh my god that just gives me so much anxiety and oh no no let's not even get into it let's get on to a happier note so you would have seen this in my next haul which was the video just gone up if you haven't seen it i'll leave it down there or up above but i picked up a new little cushion and it may have only been in my life for a few weeks but i absolutely love it it's this little cushion from next this was 12 pound and it says we're all in this together and i just absolutely love it it takes pride of place on my bed now it goes above peggy and then you know come april we're gonna have a change around again i think i will keep her at for a bit of april peggy i think she's gonna go in april and these are gonna go and we're just gonna have like a change around you know but if i see any new cushions mum was gonna pick up another cushion she saw one in tesco she said it was a bunny rabbit one and i was like see just have a look because she said she saw one but it had a mark on it so i was like well if you go back and you see it i mean what's the harm i've probably got about 30 odd cushions in the back room let's be perfectly honest one more is not gonna hurt is it going on to like another little bit of homeware this is the real reason i keep going to tesco's and i have had to stop myself at one of each because i would just have the whole house filled with these how cute are they so these are little flopped rabbits they are part of my little spring easter display which i'm going to show you all of that in more detail when we do the easter vlog because you'll probably see snippets of it in the background of videos and all of that jazz but i'll give you like a proper rundown of all the bits and bobs but we've got two little rabbits so this guy was four pound he's the large one and then this little guy was two pound and i mean how cute do they look they're just so they are quite light so be careful they're very like nimble but look oh they're just so adorable so i have the big one on my calyx unit and i have this little guy on one of my shelves but i just absolutely love them and on the theme of like easter decor you will see this in is it the next video first of april will you see it yes first of april is my panland haul so i went to panland last weekend and i just couldn't I had to film the Poundland haul. I explain it more in the thing, but obviously, as you know, like I sometimes bulk a few videos together. I had to film this because I really wanted it in my background. So you're probably seeing it and thinking, hold on a minute. And then when you see the haul, I've got it. But I bought this last week. I've had to get it out. So I've already filmed my Poundland haul where I'll show you, obviously, the price. It was more than a quid. I think it was two or three and all the bits and bobs for it. But I just had to have it out because I absolutely loved it. And that is my lovelies my little easter tree how cute and you know what this cost five pound in total it's two pound for the tree a pound for a pack of six big ball balls and then i got two packs of 12 or 18 of the baby ball balls 
I don't know about you, but I just absolutely love that. So as I say, you will see this in the video on the 1st of April, which is my Poundland haul, but I just had to get it out already because I was like, oh my God, I love it. They did have the tree also in blue. I did see online that they had it in white, but my store didn't have it in white. So I thought, no, I'll stick with the pink, but I'm not gonna lie, I wish I'd bought two or three of them, but hey ho, we've got the one. I do want to try and branch out excuse the pun my easter tree collection i think it's probably going to be more of a thing when i move out but i mean the little one can do just for now look at that rabbit in and that is another little piece done my lovelies right your girl's still reading like we're three months into the year and not gonna lie i did think that i would like stop i thought oh i'll just get bored and i won't have enough time not gonna lie i haven't read as much as i've wanted to this month but i think i've done pretty well so, you know, I said I wanted to get, like, to all the boys who loved me or, like, the after series, Twilight series. Try and come away from, like, the dark, dingy, murder, crime bits. Yeah, that's not happened. I had all intentions and then Amazon didn't do the offer that I thought they was going to do, nor did Waterstones. And I'm not about paying £50 for a box set of books. So, on one of my many mornings at Tesco, I went down that row and I thought I'd just see what they've got. And let me know if you've read this or heard of it. I picked up the book called Girl A. Right. I've only read, I'm only on the third chapter, but these chapters are so different to other books. So, normally you'd have like, I don't know, 10 to 20 to 30, however many chapters. This book only has seven chapters and it's a chapter per child. So I'll give you a little brief rundown, but I won't spoil it in case you want to read it or if you know roughly about it. So it just says the little blur bit when you open it. It says Lex Gracie doesn't want to think about her family. She doesn't want to think about growing up in her parents' house of horrors. And she doesn't want to think about her identity as Girl A, the girl who escaped. When her mother dies in prison and leaves Lex and her siblings the family home, she can't run from her past any longer. Together with her sister Evie, Lex intends to turn the house of horrors into a force for good. But first, she must come to terms with her six siblings and with the childhood that they shared. So, I am on chapter three, but I'm 160 pages in. So, you know what? I haven't done too bad. And oh, look at the bookmark I've got this time. I had my Nan's bookmark last time, but I've got one of my little ones from Greece. You know, still trying to manifest and uh, channel that we're still getting away, but hey-ho. So, yes, I'm on page 160, which... I'm pretty much like halfway through, if you can see. I've not done too bad. I do try and read every morning before work, but this week especially, I've had to do like a few bits of editing in the morning. So I haven't read, I've probably read maybe three mornings this week, but that's not a problem. And weekends, I don't read like weekends is my time off. So I'm gonna get back into it. As I say, I read about, it's actually quite bad because some mornings I read about 20 pages. But then some mornings, like, I'll leave later for work if I'm, like, into a good little bit. And some mornings I can read, like, 30, 40 pages. But highly recommend. The plot twist so far, I absolutely love. And I just think, oh, I'm almost there. And this one actually goes, how many pages are you? 328. So I'm almost like, yeah, four more pages and I'm halfway. So I cannot wait. I think I might... Here she says she don't read on a weekend. I might actually pick it up and have a little bit of a read while I'm in the bath. You know, just to chew out and have a bit of a relax. So that is the book for this month. I'm hoping, as I say, I will finish it. I might finish it early April and then I need to find another one. Will I get the box sets that I keep saying I'm going to get? Who knows? If they go on offer, I will pick them up. But like, I can't pay £50 for a box set. I'm just like, <laughs> this was £10 in tesco tesco's actually have really good selection of books you would have seen on mum's mother day i picked her up some books from tesco's and sainsbury's she only has paperback though i'm a bit i like a hardback book I, because paperback i just ruin but she likes um i don't know i got her a tyson fury one because she likes boxing and she likes the guy and then i got her like a few little dark ones like i got one about a teenager getting murdered in the Peak District. She was like, oh, I was like, happy Mother's Day. But yeah, I do need to try and come away from, not the dark side, but like, you know, cause it's all very like violent and true crime especially. So what can I say? I just like the gritty bits. All of these love stories, they don't really do it for me unless I'm really into it. Like after the series, I've seen the film, 
P.S. to all the boys I've loved and all that. That's a funny little chick flick. So I think I could get into them. But stuff like that just grips me more. Let me know. If you read, what's your like genre or preference? Do you go like true stories? Do you like the fiction? Is it fiction? Fiction's fake, isn't it? Fiction fake, non Fiction fake. Are you like lovey-dovey? Uh, thriller? I don't know. Let me know. When I was a kid, I used to love reading encyclopedias. An encyclopedia to me was the best book ever, especially a biology encyclopedia. What can I say? I was just, I was just strange from the get-go, wasn't I? <laughs> right, let's bring these few little bits forward. Ah, also, as you all know, like, I'm always doing my journaling and all of my diaries and that. Pens. Oh my god, I've fallen back in love with this pen. This is the most simplest pen ever, but it brings back so many memories. This is the little one I picked up, one of many, from the Shropshire Discovery Centre. If you've watched our vlog from our week in the log cabin, God, that was a bit of a tongue twister. You would see that we went to a little discovery centre where, like, they showed mammoths. I never knew mammoths existed in England. Like, that's probably really silly of me, but I didn't. And I just, I had to do some writing the other day and I just picked it down and I've been using it all week. So, even though it's probably not a monthly favourite, it's been a weekly favourite and I love a good pink pen. And... Skincare and makeup, my lovelies. Where do I begin? Kind of fallen back in love with my lashes, I'm not going to lie. I went through a stage of very au naturel. Well, you've seen me on vlogs and that, and I don't really make an effort, to be perfectly honest. The only time I get a bit of slap on is when I've got a film, because there ain't anyone I'm going out to see, and we're not going anywhere nice, apart from Tesco's or the bargain shop. So, my skin's been having a bit of a brief, but I have fallen back in love with lashes. I picked these up and I'm not going to lie, one pack I was a bit, mm, I didn't know how they was going to like work with my lashes. So I picked up these, these are by Pinky Go and they're called the Sisters range. These ones are very, very similar to a big pack that I got from Primark, I think not last year, the year before at Christmas. And it was like a collab I think with Tatty Lashes. These are very much similar for these. I've worn the top pair once, and you know me, I'm very OCD. I like to put them back in the box and everything. So I've worn Sonia, and Sonia was very nice. And then I think I'm going to wear Pfizer. Pfizer. But I think Pfizer look very extra. Like, they're very... All right, there. Sonia, I kind of clipped a little bit of them because they're like different lengths. But love them. And the only thing, I don't know if it's the lashes, but I think it may be, ah! Oh no, don't break, Sonia. I think it could just be because I'm getting used to wearing them again. But the bands on them really irritate my eyes at the moment. But I don't think that's to do with the lashes. I think that's just because I'm readjusting to having the lashes on again, you know? And then this. This is a repurchase. I found a pair of these in the back of my drawer. Wore them to death. So I've repurchased. These are the Revlon lashes. They are, I don't actually know what they're called because they never really give you a style. All I'm going to say is they're 91291, if that means anything. And they're just these perfect, wispy, everyday lashes, but they give you like a nice bit of length and a nice bit of volume. So yes, I found a not so great pair at the back, but I'll give them a good clean up, give them a little scrub and repurchase another pair as i say the majority of bits that i can i will leave down below linked for you my lovelies oh getting a bad back sitting here like the hunchback of notre dame let's have a little bit of stretch let's loosen up hey shall we it's enough exercise for one day <laughs> right as you will know for work i don't wear makeup pretty much ever if i do there's a hidden agenda it's because i'm either doing something after work like filming for example or I just want to try and feel good because I'm feeling absolutely naff about myself. Every morning, without a doubt, I have to have a face wipe on my face. And I've been loving my Nivea ones at the minute. These are the Nivea Refreshing Daily Wipes. 0% alcohol, normal skin with vitamin E. Because my skin can be very temperamental. She's been good at the minute. Touch wood and all that jazz. But I just like a nice, calming, hydrating face wipe on her let's say and then i've been pairing that i've got quite a lot of nivea this month i've just been pairing that with the nivea 
soft moisturizer balm so this i don't know if anyone remembers but they used to do i think it was like a shaving balm that everyone used to use as like a primer or a base but i love this this is especially the soft one so you can use it on your face your body as a hand cream it is so nourishing and so hydrating so i go in with my wipe do that put a good bit of moisturizer on and then i finish it off with a little nivea lip balm which can you guess by the color what scent it is it's watermelon so we're sticking with that watermelon theme and as i say quite a bit of Nivea this month but that is like normally my go-to morning routine and then when I come home of an evening I've had my bath just before bed I do a little extra step which is the Elemis Superfood I still don't know how you say this Sysa Kaika Calm Cleansing Foam don't know how to say that to be perfectly honest and what I do of an evening I do a face wipe as normal and then I do this this is like a little foaming cleanser Put it on, I get my little vanity planet, do, 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 wash it off with warm water, slather my face and my skin in this, and then pop up some watermelon. And I find when I'm waking up, because now we're coming into the warmer months, my skin, I suffer with a bit of eczema, normally in the creases of my elbows, my knees, and like blotches on my face. And I'm finding at the moment it's just keeping that dryness at bay. I still do get a bit of dryness around the top of my head, but... I can't, no matter what I do, I can exfoliate and shave that and moisturise it to the high heavens. I will still always have that little bit that just will not shift. But hey ho, that's the body I've got. That's the body I'm dealt with. And I need to embrace it. On the other side though, when I do want to make a bit of an effort. Or say for example, I want the no makeup makeup. This is almost empty and it's very sad because I don't think they do it anymore. So I need to get on the NYX website and have a look. Is the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. Now this is, if you put it on your skin on its own, it can be quite, ooh, like, I don't know. Can you see that? It's very pearlescent, very shimmery. So if you put that on, it's great. It is an illuminating primer. And when it goes in, you just get like, I don't know if it's going to show up, but you just get this really nice sheen. But what I do is when I put my moisturiser on my face, if I want like a little bit of a glowier shine, I just put a few little squeezes of this into the moisturiser, mix it in, and it just gives you like a nice, healthy, radiant glow in a way. Like it makes you look not as dull as just slapping a bit of moisturiser on your face. And then my two things, well, three things actually, when I do a face of makeup like this, I have three things that are my absolute go-to at the moment. We've got another nude lipstick. This is what I've got on today. This is MAC Velvet Teddy. And as you can see, she's not got much left on her. She is almost at the end of her stump. This is... oh, I was so late on the bandwagon with this. I always remember years and years, even probably when I was in school when MAC first started, people was like, oh my God, MAC Velvet Teddy. And I just... I never thought about it. I was like, meh. I picked this up because we had some vouchers from House of Fraser. And I think the little ones are £10. And I had £20 vouchers. So I picked up two little mini ones to try. Oh my god. When this goes, I'm going to have to get the full size. This is, I'm going to try and show you. Let's try and get a bit closer. This is what I've got on my lips today. God, look at them infections. Oh, and look at them fangs girl needs to get her teeth sorted so it is this perfect brown color and i just love it that was very up close and personal i feel a little bit exposed now with my old fangs in at the daylight but hey ho vampire born shannon here anyway stop rambling this is so nice it's matte but it's super creamy and i just think it's the perfect shade i also like to sometimes mix a bit of whirl in you would have seen whirl Oh my god, I absolutely love that one. I think I featured that, was it last month or the month before? And sometimes I even just put a bit of clear gloss because when you put the gloss on it, that pops. You're like, mm -mm, bam, my lip gloss be pappy, my lip gloss be cute. I can't remember the words, but hey ho, let's go. <laughs> so yes, that is what I've been on my lips for quite a while. And then you know your girl loves a bit of highlighter. And again, it's NYX. As you will see, NYX is probably the brand that I go to most. NYX and Rimmel. They're like my two go-tos for like affordability, variety, colour choice, etc, etc. So this is a very old favourite. This is called Narcissistic. Narcissistic? I'm not quite sure. It's that one. 
let's just show you because I'm rubbish at pronunciation, Narcissistic. And it is the NYX Illuminator. Now, this has been well loved. As you can see, we've not got much of it left. We are almost at pan on it, but it's just this gorgeous goldy pink tone. And you know what? I absolutely love them. NYX highlighters, I cannot, oh, got cramp in my leg. NYX highlighters, I cannot recommend enough. I have another one, which is more of like a white tone. That is great for highlight on the inner corner. That is when I'm really going out. Like basic makeup for me, you would have seen it is like foundation, powder, bit of lippy, lashes, highlight, good to go. If I'm going like all out and I'm doing like a little bit of an eyeshadow look, because as we know, I ain't no makeup artist. If I want to try and put a little bit of eyeshadow on and I put the highlight on the inner corner, that is perfect. But there has been a step that when I have been doing my face, I've been adding in. And I don't know why. I think it's because I'm trying to make myself more tanned. I'm trying to feel a lot better because as you can see, there's probably not much difference between this white top and my arm. I am like Casper. I cannot wait to get a bit of sun, whether that be in the Caribbean, from a bottle, on a sunbed. I just need a bit of colour because I am pasty AF like Casper. But even when I'm tanned, bronzer in me is like... I look like I've been dragged through mud, to be perfectly honest. But I bought this sometime last year, I think last summer, when like you could go in boots and that. And I fell in love. And then I kind of dropped off of it because we went into the winter months. I didn't want to look as tanned in that. But now, oh my God, let me just show you first of all. So that's how deep the box is. I've basically got like maybe, don't focus on me, Canon. I've basically got like a quarter of it left. And it is the Benefit Hula Light. Absolutely love this. If you're like me and you're a bit paler and you still want to like bronze and a bit of contour, Hula Light, I cannot recommend enough. I think this is the full size. I'm not entirely sure because they do full sizes in a mini. Can't quite remember what's what. I think it was about £20, but they had an advantage like points offer. So, you know, your girl got extra points, but highly recommend that. And if you've been smelling me this month, I smell of H&M. I have been using the Peaches one, which unfortunately I've left at work. But these are a bargain. I think they're like a fiver. Maybe not even that. Four or five quid. And this one is H&M Berries. As I say, the one I have been having at work is the Peach one. Cheap, cheerful, perfect little handbag spray. Very fruity. And I actually, I miss H&M. I don't go in there often, but when I do, I normally do have like a big splurge. So maybe you'll be seeing that in the shopping vlog. But last little bit, of course, it's our Netflix and TV recommendations and music I've been loving. Right, apologies if the angles changed slightly. Canon died on me because I'm rabbiting so much. Netflix, TV, music, all of that jazz. Not going to lie, I haven't done too much on Netflix this month. You know, last month I binged like three or four different series. Absolutely binged them. This month, however, I've started a season probably midway through, I would say, and I've just started the second season, Prison Break. Now, a lot of the seasons I've watched were like two to three seasons. I think this one's five, and I really want to try Sons of Anarchy, but that's like seven or eight. I have to be really invested in a series to watch that amount of time. But Prison Break, let me know if you have seen it, watched it, currently watching, have never seen it. Everyone says to me, the first season is amazing which I can confirm, I've just finished the first season, and oh my god, absolutely loved it. However, a lot of people say season two is alright, and then three and four, don't even waste your time. When I start a series, even if it is absolutely naff, I have to finish it. So I am, it took a long time for me to take the plunge to actually start to watch it, because I thought, Four or five seasons, that's a lot for me to be invested in. But, fingers crossed it all goes well. The first season I've watched is absolutely wow. Love it, love a bit of action, love a bit of violence, you know me. And along that note, the films I've been watching are probably not season appropriate. So, we should be watching like fun, light-hearted, nice movies. I've been watching horrors this month. I think I've like 
digressed and gone forward to my autumn Halloween period, I've watched The Nun, I watched The Conjuring, Conjuring, however you say it, Annabelle, I've been watching all the old schools, Freddy, is it Freddy, Nightmare on Elm Street, weren't really too much of a fan of that, I never saw the original, so I just watched the one on Netflix, which I think is the remake of it, Nah, I wasn't too much of a fan of that, so hey ho, at least I've tried it, but yeah, they say, what have you been watching last night? I'll be like, oh, I watched The Nun. And they're like, I do get a few strange looks on people at work. They're like, why are you watching horrors on your own in spring? I'm like, I I just fancied watching it. Like, Brandon thinks I'm weird for watching it. Like, he'll call and he'll be like, what are you watching? I'm like, a horror. And he's like, okay, I'll talk to you later. I'm like, okay, bye. Have fallen back in love with me, Disney Plus. I have rewatched Mandalorian this month. Baby Yoda has my heart, as always, and I'm just I'm gutted it's all over now. I'm absolutely gutted. And likewise, I was so gutted that The Avengers has finished, but I think there's going to be a few more prequels, sequels. I'm not entirely sure. I watched WandaVision. Now, WandaVision for me, I loved Wanda and I loved Vision. So I thought, oh my God, this is perfect. Like, I saw the trailer. They're trying to, like, have a normal life and da-da-da-da. It was a little bit confusing, I'm not going to lie. Like, at the beginning, I was a bit, huh? And it did take a while to get into. I think there's only eight or ten episodes, and it's, like, the second half where it starts to get interesting. The first lot is kind of adjusting and learning the story and that of them. The last episode, I absolutely loved so much action. So I would say it's worth a watch, but it might, it does take a bit of, a, like, a while to get into, if you know what I mean. But if you love Marvel and that, I mean, the first few episodes, as long as you're kind of acknowledging it, so you could just have it on in the background if you're doing something. But I'd say, like, five episodes onwards, you need to watch it because that's when the stuff goes down. And I always forget with Marvel, they put stuff in the end credits, didn't they? So as soon as the episode had finished, I was, like, right on to the next episode. And then I think one day I was doing something. I can't remember what I was doing. But I thought, I'll just let it run out. And then I forgot it shows you the little spoilers. And I was like, how many of them have I actually missed? But oh well, I absolutely loved it. There is a new one. Um, is it Falcon and the Winter Soldier who's just come on? B started to watch it. He's going to watch it weekly. But I think I'm going to let it all upload and then just bulk watch it like I did with WandaVision. So that is, as I say, there's not a lot really that I've been watching this month because... To be honest, this month, a lot of my time in the evenings, me and mum have started walking again. So that takes an hour out of the night. Try and do a bit of filming, a bit of editing. So I've only really been watching like an episode or two here and there. So I have, as I say, Prison Break. I think one night I've been six episodes. That killed me the next morning for work. But hey-ho. And I've started Friends again. You know, just one of them good little things you can just have on in the background. I've been watching it on my lunch breaks, to be perfectly honest, at work. And yeah, I love a good bit of Friends. I really want to go to Friends Fest. I keep getting the emails every year and I'd always think next year, next year. Wanted to go 2020, obviously. That hasn't happened. I have had an email recently because I think they are doing it in 2021. If they are, who knows? I'm not entirely sure. But music. Oh my God. My music has really changed this month. I'm just going to get my Deezer playlist up. I don't have Spotify. I have Deezer. I think it's all the same jazz, to be perfectly honest. But my music, right, let's have a look. Does it tell you, like, recently played? Recently done, right. So this is just how obscure my music has been. So we've had the Ico Ico from Justin Wellington. I think that's like a big TikTok song, but I love it. I would play it, but don't want to get copyrighted. We also have Summer of Love, Kids in America. I've kind of, like... My music, as I say, has been all over the place. Some mornings I go off and I'm listening to rock. Then when I come home from work, I'm listening to ABBA. Still love a bit of ABBA at the moment. I don't know what it is. It's just like, mamma mia. It's all like summer vibes. And then I've got Chaz and Dave. I have listened to quite a bit of Chaz and Dave on the way to work. Oh, no, let's not play it. Oh, my God. Right. My, oh, I don't know what it is, but I have like this slight love for i don't know what you would call them rock bands but are they like eccentric i don't know how you say them warren cherry pie i've been obsessing over that like when i'm pulling out of work that is my song 
along with Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me. I mean, they just give me like bad grandpa vibes. You know the Jackass film when they made the boy into the girl for the pageant? Classic moment, absolutely love that. So I've been having that and then I kept hearing this song on the radio and you know when you put it up and you can tell it like recognises the song and it's called I Found Someone by Cher. Oh my God, I love that. Like I love a bit of Cher anyway. I have been playing that non-stop along with, where is it? Is it Dr. Medic? I can't remember the name now. Dr. Medic? Spirit in the Sky. Dr. Medic, where are you? I'm sure it's Dr. Doctor and the Medics. I was halfway there. Spirit in the Sky. That was um, my uncle's favourite song apparently and I just love it. When it goes in and it's like... I'm like there, I'm like clicking along, I'm ready and I'm like When I die I'm ready to raise Will I go to the place that's best? Who absolutely knows But yeah, a bit of Elvis on there A lot of rock, a lot of power ballads Like just the songs that are like Till now I always go by on my own You know the ones that you really like and belt out when you're singing alone And then when you're like pulling you know like the ones you really built out when you're singing and you're driving alone and then when you get to the traffic lights and your windows down and people look at you as if to be like hold on a minute that music's well before your era and i'm just like <laughs> love it so yes my music is very much mismatched however i have found a few new ones like that i think are current i don't know if they are they've probably been out really a long time but i haven't there's a song by Tom Grennan called Never Be A Right Time. London Grammar, her song is How Does It Feel? And Joshua Bassett, Telling Myself. Those I would say are my three mainstream. I don't know if they're mainstream because they've probably been out for ages and I've only just found out about them. But yes, I have been loving those at the moment. You know, trying to get a little bit hit, but like 95% of the time, my music is from the 70s, 80s or 90s. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm moving and my hair, I keep feeling like my hair's going off. Look at that, I'm rambling as always, but my lovelies, that is another monthly favourites done. Ay ay ay, how is it another month has passed? I'm hoping from next month onwards, if like the shops are starting to open up, I want to try and incorporate a few little bit more um, handbags, shoes, clothing, because we're going to be coming into the spring summer months and try and shush it up a bit but please let me know if you've tried any of these or any bit similar that you think i'd recommend you know if they're share bags of crisps I'll let you go know because i mean i know i'm going on a health kit but i'm still gonna have to like let myself have say one cheat day a week or maybe like half a cheat day a week but really overindulge i would highly recommend as well this milk if you've got tesco near you and you love like a rich creamy milk and it's cute, it's got a cow on it, I mean, come on. Backpacks, if you've got any backpack recommendations. I have seen one on Ted Baker that I might pick up, but as I say, we're going to the outlet, so I might see if I can get anything in there. Lashes, hand gel, does your Tesco do this? Because mum said that in our Tesco, it's 150, yet the Tesco where I work, it's a quid. Not quite sure how that works, Tesco. And yes, my book. I will keep you updated with this, as I say, be sure to check out the Easter vlog because you'll probably see me reading through this and I'll give you another little update as to where I've been but this is another long video looking at the time on there because I've just been rambling and waffling on haven't I that's just what these videos are we're in our PJs hair up kind of looking like the leaning tower of Pisa today and we're just having a chit chat but if you did like the video you know what to do guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below as I say leave me a comment if you just want to have a chit chat How's your month been? How are you feeling now that we're coming, hopefully, to like the lockdown starting to being lifted? Who knows? Will it go ahead? I surely hope so. We are also coming up to one year birthday for the channel. Is that right? How do you say it? Happy one year to the channel. Next video you will see, which will be up on Tuesday the 30th, is our little happy one year birthday to the channel where we go back, look through some of our very first videos very first hauls we're gonna have some bloopers in there and just have a sit back and a laugh so that as you're watching this sunday 
tomorrow, Monday the 29th, that is officially the one year anniversary to the channel. That was when the very first video of Get To Know Me went up and let's just say a lot has changed since then. So as I say, you'll see me Tuesday. We're going to just have like probably another little chit chat here reacting to old videos. That's kind of it. It's more like a reacting to old videos from the past year and just seeing how we've developed, how many avenues we've taken, how many flops I've done. But hey ho, it's all a work in progress. And then from next Thursday, so the 1st of April, you're going to be having an upload Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So you're still going to have your Tuesday and Thursday as normal. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday for Easter weekend, your girl's going to be uploading still. So a lot of positive fun little content coming your way and as I say if you are new here hi my name is Shannon we upload three times a week well a little bit more over like festive periods and occasions you know we have hauls cooking vlogs you name it we have it and if you are a returning subscriber you know I love you anyway I'm rambling as always take care enjoy your Sunday and I'll see you all in the next one bye